I'm Maria. And I'm Nadia. And welcome to Imparate Cooks. On today's episode, we're going to be making one of the best, most classic Italian desserts, tiramisu. So Nadia, you're going to walk us through the recipe, show us how it's made. Let's begin. This is the best, I think, no-bake Italian dessert yeah. ever, right? So, we have a few steps. We have to prepare our mascarpone cream. So we're going to start with four egg yolks. So I have two already started here. We're reserving two of the egg whites only that we're going to uh, we're going to whisk momentarily. But for now, I'm going to have four egg yolks here. Now, if you're concerned with the use of raw eggs, which I know many people are with tiramisu, with this technique, um, it'll kill any possible bacteria or salmonella. So basically, we're going to cook the eggs um, on a double boiler for a few minutes just to uh, bring the temperature up and uh, that way we don't have any concern with any harmful risks of <laughs> using the raw eggs. So we're going to separate the uh, four eggs. I just separated two. You could either use the shells or your fingers, whatever you're most comfortable with. Yeah. And when separating eggs, always over another bowl so you don't mix up or if you get eggshells, you should always break your eggs always. over another bowl. Always. Eggshells are never part of the recipe. Okay, so I'm going to add to my egg yolks a half a cup of granulated sugar. I'm going to set this over the double boiler. So remember when, you, when you're cooking with a double boiler, you have a little bit of water. The bowl, the bottom of the bowl, must never touch the surface of the water. So I'm going to begin quickly whisking. So we don't want to scramble the eggs, of no. course, but we're going to whisk until we have a nice, thick, creamy mixture. And that'll take a couple of minutes here. So just to bring the water to a gentle simmer. Again, we don't want any scrambled eggs here. And the eggs kind of double in size, no? When they, when they, when they do, the do volume, increase double. in volume, maybe yeah. not completely double, but okay. yeah. So you can see as I'm whisking that we're getting a really nice, thick, creamy consistency. So it won't take us very long. So after the eggs are uh, ready, we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla and we're going to have to make this mixture cool down, of course, before we add our mascarpone cheese. So we'll be back momentarily as we continue to prepare this uh, egg mascarpone mixture. So we're back. So our mascarpone mixture is ready and it has cooled down here. Yeah. Just let it cool it's for a, a few thicker. minutes. It's quite thick. So you can actually add that uh, vanilla. We have a teaspoon okay. of vanilla. And while we were waiting for that to cool, I just quickly uh, beat the two egg whites here. We're only using two out of the four egg whites, like I mentioned. I did this by hand. <laughs> this is my preference, but of course you can use a stand mixer or a handheld mixer. But uh, with two egg whites, it works with the whisk, as you can see. So we're ready. So we're ready to just complete this uh, creamy mixture. So let's fold in the mascarpone. So we have got mascarpone cheese over here. No, no shortcuts. This is the real thing. Yeah. No, no mixture of ricotta, whipped cream, just plain mascarpone. I have um, uh, an entire 475 uh, gram container of mascarpone. And mascarpone is a lot richer than ricotta or if you add whipped cream, it's... Much. It's, uh, I don't like to dilute mine. I no, like it's better this cheesy way. Cheesy <laughs> taste, pure cheesy taste of the mascarpone. So we're gonna fully uh, integrate that into the egg, sugar, and vanilla mixture. Excellent. And now, we're going to slowly fold in the egg whites. So what I usually like to do is start with half of the egg white uh, mixture. Fold that in. So this is gonna make your mixture really nice and fluffy and airy and creamier as well, which is really amazing. So just carefully using your spatula, fold that mixture. Don't just stir it all in. So fold until it's completely integrated. As you can see, you can already see the difference in yeah. the consistency, right, of the of the cream. And let's add the remaining egg whites. And tiramisu is one of those desserts that are perfect when you go to someone's house because you can make it the day ahead. It's not no fuss. You just take it, you bring it, put it in the fridge while you're waiting, and then you just 
Sp spoon it out, basically. Actually, Maria, you just said something very important that we have to share. Tiramisu is not one of those desserts that you can make at the last minute. No, 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 absolutely right? not. <laughs> tiramisu needs to set for uh, several hours, and in fact, I agree with you, I always make it the day before, yeah. just to let all the flavors blend together. The cookies need to be softened as they absorb all the, uh, the coffee and the yeah. cream mixture, and yeah, definitely something you make the day before. So while you're doing that, here we have our coffee and uh, liquor. So we decided to use brandy today. You can use rum, you can use different types of uh, liquor, whatever you really like. Classically, it's rum. Uh, but we decided to you know, try something a little bit different. It's, we really like the flavor of this brandy. So we have a cup of espresso, put it in a shallow bowl. Which we've let cool, by the way, the, yeah. the espresso that we have brewed. And then we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of brandy. Give it a quick mix. And basically we're ready to, uh, to assemble our tiramisu. I always like to add, not everyone does, but just a very uh, thin layer at the bottom of our container here, just to get those cookies uh, sticking. sticking to the <laughs> bottom of our dish. So I like to use a, a rectangular yep. uh, shaped dish such as this. I think works well. So all we have to do now is basically start layering our ladyfingers. So we have um, actually Savoyardi cookies, yeah. right? Which are always the cookie of choice for making tiramisu. And you can find these really in any, in any Italian supermarket. So we're just gonna soak them. Don't over soak them, we'll break, the, break apart. Quick dip. Just a quick dip <laughs> actually, yeah, I agree. It's not even a soak, a quick dip. And we'll start to layer our cookies. Uh, so usually, usually I go for about two layers when I make it, depending on the size, of course, the shape of your container. But usually I have about two layers of the cookies. Well, I made this in a trifle bowl because it's what I had. Oh, yes. And I made multiple layers, but obviously it's shorter. So when you scoop it, it's, you know, That's you get a nice. few layers, but there's about a good 10 in there, I think. Basically, there's no one way to do this. Another common way, some people make individual ones in small oh, containers, good, yeah. which is also very nice, very pretty, nice uh, presentation. Or martini glasses, you put the cookies and then you put the mascarpone exactly. mixture on top. And you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like you can see, we got to the end of the dish. We're gonna layer in the other direction. If necessary, you break the cookies to yep. fit, because remember, this is all gonna be layered with the uh, mascarpone cream. And as you cut into it, you won't see any bits of broken cookies. Nope. It's going to be all deliciousness. So we're going to continue to, to, to layer yeah. and we'll be back to show you the finished result. So we have uh, now two layers of our Savoyardi cookies as you can see and we're just basically going to put the remaining mascarpone cream mixture on top and using our handy dandy offset spatula we'll just smooth it up on top and like a five minute assembly process I, I, it doesn't take it. long it is so fast and it is so easy so here we go so we'll just smooth the remaining cream on top we'll add a nice uh, sprinkle of um, cocoa powder to finish it off Make it nice and pretty. Nice and pretty. Another common topping actually that I see a lot of people doing, you can also uh, grate, finely grate some uh, some chocolate yeah, on top. That's true. Which is uh, makes a nice presentation. And if you want that extra chocolate, go for it. But we'll just go with the cocoa powder today. So you just gotta go at this gently because you don't wanna start scraping the cookies and have chopped up mixed uh, cookies and yeah. crumbs inside your mascarpone. Looks pretty good, what do you think? Perfect. Anyways, any imperfections that are fine, you'll cover it all up with that cocoa powder on top. So nice light dusting. Gorgeous. You can even do like a design in here if you wanted. Yeah, if you have any of those molds or you <laughs> do a fancy design or drying. But really that's it, that's all it takes. So pop this into the fridge for several hours. I prefer overnight, yeah. or if you're going to make it the same day, make it the morning of before the evening that you want to serve it. And we'll see you back later for a sampling of our tiramisu. Can we? So our tiramisu is ready to serve. 
Uh, we had this setting in the fridge about eight hours now. Yeah. I think just enough time for the flavors to, to blend together nicely and we're ready to serve it up. So we'll just cut a couple of squares. Yeah, you see the, the knife runs through it nicely because the, the cookies have gotten nice and soft. Yeah. That's big enough for me. Oh yeah. So I guess a container like this, I would say about about 12 servings, depending on your portion size, of course. So let's see if we can get out a piece nicely here without it breaking apart. There we go. Perfect. How does that look? That looks pretty good. very nice. So guys, for more recipes like this, please check out our website at www.imparate.com and Nadia's blog at www.manjabeta.com. And please don't forget to go online and comment on our website. Let us know what you want to see us make and uh, we promise we'll read them. Definitely. Take Let's a bite. Take a nice bite. So good. The mix of the coffee and the, the brandy is really, really nice. Oh, the brandy is a very nice touch. You can it is. get that little extra sweet flavor. Delicious. So register for a class, and we'll see you soon. See you soon.